Hi guys, it's Stu here from Samsung Now. Samsung Now is where we look at all things Samsung, all things tech and all things gaming. If you like all or any of that, don't forget to subscribe, which is around there somewhere. Um, as you know, I've got the Samsung KS8000, the UK version, 65-inch uh, TV. Fantastic TV, really very happy with it. I know there's quite a lot of you that aren't happy with your 8000 and 7000 and even 9000 series KS TVs because of the firmware updates that have been coming out. Currently I'm running 1180.5 and I've heard and been told a couple of times that there's a 1201 update. I've looked on the US website um, for to be able to download it. I've checked my TV. I've also checked the UK website and I don't know where these people are getting this update from. So if you're if you have this update, tell me where you are and how you've got the update because I want to update it and do one of those comparative videos where I show the pre-update and then post-update and look to see what the changes are, see if things have been addressed. So if you do have that update, let me know. Let me know where you got it from. Let me know where you are uh, in terms of which country you're in. And then maybe I can, you know, get it and download it before the UK, uh, Samsung in the UK decide that we're good enough to, to have it for our own. Unfortunately, Samsung seemed to believe that um, you know, the UK is sort of low down on their priority. Um, we seem to, to get sort of a bad deal on our phones and our TVs and updates and so on. So, you know, who knows when we're likely to get it. I didn't get the 1180.5 um, update for, for a good six weeks before it was released everywhere else. So it does make you wonder. Um, the... Uh, as you know, I did a, a video on 1181. The reason why I called it 1181 is because, you know, I needed something to show that I'm talking about the next update. Now that we have 1201 in the works, so it seems, um, and I've been asking you guys what you would like Samsung to address, we will, when we get the 1201 update, we will look to see if it has addressed any of those issues that you guys have. I'm still trying to reach out to Samsung. They're being very tight-lipped. I've written to um, uh, directly to them by snail mail, you know, old-fashioned um, letters. I've tried calling them. I've been told that people will ring me back. They do not. I've tried the support people and they suggest, you know, they give me a number to call and I call it and then I get told, yeah, we will ring you back nobody does um so it's you know and i'm not being confrontational i'm just sort of saying to them look you know we've got a a, a group of people that that all have th the same range of tvs and we have all these issues you know i just want you to know that these are the issues that we're having and you know if you would like to comment on that so perhaps they just don't want to comment on that um who knows? But I, I've not given up. Um, if I don't hear anything or don't get in contact with any, unable to get into contact with someone before we get the, uh, if I get the 1201 update and I've still not managed that, um, I'll do a comparison and look to see if it's addressed some of the problems. But I still aim on getting hold of, of Samsung and seeing if we can get some of these issues sorted. So, yeah, as soon as I get the 1201, I will be doing a pre and post videos like I have before, using 4K footage and drawing comparisons, seeing what's fixed, what isn't. And as soon as I get that, um, I will do it. If you already have the 1201, let me know where you got it from, let me know where you are, and hopefully maybe I can get it a bit sooner. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment. Um, and I'll speak to you very soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.